I have Tim Holtz new Distress Spritz, and I'm gonna share five techniques with you. Hi everyone, it's Joy here, and welcome to my channel. I have three colors of Tim Holtz Distress Spritz. I have Worn Lipstick, Peacock Feathers, and Twisted Citron. You guys, this is so shiny and gorgeous when you spray this on your cardstock. It is stunning. I have five techniques for you, like I said at the beginning. I'm gonna do two on this card and three on my next one. First technique is going to be Tone on Tone. So I am using Distress Oxide ink here and peacock feathers and then i'm going to use the peacock feathers distress spritz i also want to say thank you so much to scrapbook.com for sending me these products so i could play with them and share it with you guys so i taped off with some mint tape because i just want the bottom part of my card to have this effect so now that that's ink blended, I am going to be using scrapbook.com's Wave Stencil. I'm gonna spray the back of it with Pixie Spray because I want this to stick down because this spray is so liquid, you, I don't want it to run under the stencil. I'm shaking it up really, really good. And then I'm gonna spritz this through the stencil. So this is technique number two. So instead of ink blending again through the stencil, we're gonna spritz this and this is gonna give us that same look. So I'm gonna dab off that extra thick spray that didn't dry as quickly because I don't want it to run under my stencil, but when we peel this back, look at that. And I will show this more closely once it dries so you can really get the effects of the shimmer. But let's get the rest of this card together. But look at that beautiful image of the stencil just by spraying that Distress Spritz on the background. I am using the neutrals paper pad from scrapbook.com along with the summer words die i'm going to die cut it three times from that sand color cardstock this is a darker sand in that neutrals pack and then i'm going to use a lighter sand for some of my other images but i die cut that three times and i'm going to glue it together and this is going to give us some dimension for our big sentiment here then I'm gonna be using the Sizzix Thinlets. This is such a cute little set. I'm gonna die cut a lot of that from the Neutrals cardstock. So here's some of the images, this cute little flag for the sand or for the sand castle. I'm also gonna be die cutting the rest of these images from the Vacation Paper Pad. It has tons of fun colors. It's perfect for summer. Here's our cute little lifesaver that I did in blues. We have our little sand castle here in that lighter color of sand, so it's a little bit lighter than our sentiment. We have an umbrella that I have done from a pink and kind of minty turquoisey green. And again, these colors are from that vacation paper pad. And let's glue this cute umbrella together. I've been seeing a lot of umbrellas, like beachy umbrellas this summer, and I just think it's so fun in a lot of these um, designs, people's products and stuff. I think it's so cute. So let's add that fun pink here. We're gonna have the pink pole. I'm gonna glue my um, umbrella part a little bit down so the top of that will stick out the top of the umbrella. And then this little sign here says to the beach and I die cut it from a darker brown from the neutrals paper pad and then this blue from the vacation paper pad. So I'm gonna spell out the word beach here. I'm just using some reverse tweezers and the liquid glue to put that in place. And then of course my um, Pick Pro tool, I love it. That little pointy end just helps me to line up all these letters. And then I'm gonna do two and the word two and the a little bit on an angle once I get the rest of the word beach together. And we're gonna have this cute little beach sign and just have this fun little beach scene at the top part of our card. So the word summer kind of feels like the sand partially to me. So that's how I'm working this into my design. So we have our little mound of sand I'm going to adhere that down, adhere our sign down. We have this other little tiny piece of sand. I'm gonna cover up the bottom of that sign there. But you see how the summer is gonna kind of overlap. I, that was my idea for this card. Then the sand castle will peek out of the top. I'm gonna to tuck my umbrella in there. 
add a little bit of adhesive. I'm gonna let that hang off the side a tad and I'm gonna trim that off. I do like some of my images to hang off the edges because then it feels, it feels like to me it makes your scene much bigger. Let's add our little flag and we already add our little lifesaver. It's so cute. And then we have our word summer. But I still cannot get over how you how well that wave stencil came out just by spraying that distress spritz on the background, you guys. I just think it's so pretty. Let's do our sentiment. I am doing that from the Hello Summer and it says have a wonderful and I did that with the peacock feathers. I stamped it with that. Added, I'm gonna add some foam adhesive strips, the two millimeter, place that there. And then I decided to take the little sun from the Hello Summer stamp set, ink that up the, with the squeeze lemonade at the top there. It needed something else. And I think that little sun just finishes it off. And then I'm gonna finish the details here with a white gel pen, adding it to all of the images, including the sand, adding little lines and little dots. Just adding a little something extra, I'm gonna add a line next to each one of the letters in the word beach on the left side, and that is done. Let's take a look at this up close. Now that it's dry, look at that beautiful shimmer. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, let's go on to our next card. I'm gonna use the mixed media white paper pad and black paper pad. I use the mixed media white for the first card as well. So this card here, I am going to ink blend with squeezed lemonade. We're gonna do an ombre effect. So this is spritzing on ink, but we're gonna do two different cut. We're gonna do a different inking back, inked background to what we're gonna spray on it. This is kind of a two for one here. So this is two techniques here. So we're spraying on a different color of ink and also on white cardstock because I'm leaving the white at the top in this ombre. So. And the reason why I say this is two techniques is we're gonna spritz this on, I am using the worn lipstick. When you spritz it on the bottom, it kind of blends in and makes a new color, a little bit of an orange color, a little bit. And then the white, it's just the worn lipstick. So it stays the same against white cardstock. So I'm gonna dry this a little bit. Let's look at this up close. It's not completely dry, but look at how you can see the worn lipstick. It also has a little bit of an orange. And then at the top, it's just that pink. Okay, for our final tip technique is on the black cardstock. I am taking all three colors, worn lipstick, peacock feathers, and twisted citron, and I am just spritzing them on and I'm letting some of them overlap when I come in the second time and I'm letting it kind of blend a little bit. And then I'm using my heat tool to dry it. I didn't dry it all the way on camera, but once it's dry, Look at that background. This is my favorite. I think it stands out the best against this black cardstock. It is beautiful. So what I'm gonna do with this is take these um, layering butterflies, I think that's what they're called, from scrapbook.com. I do have everything listed and linked for you guys below in the description, but I'm gonna die cut those a few times. Then I have this thick and thin stripes or strips excuse me and I have die cut that and then I'm also going to die cut it from a piece of that mixed media white cardstock the reason why I did that is when I die cut this piece here it didn't cut all the way through and I think because the cardstock was a little bit wet so I didn't want to tear it so I die cut it again and now you see it comes apart so I'm just going to lay those little white pieces the little white strips in here from the second die cutting but they, it is supposed to come apart it just didn't and I didn't want to take a chance on running it through the die cut machine again and it getting all messed up so I just did it this way. I'm taking one of the bigger strips. I'm stamping happy birthday from the happy birthday stamp set with black ink. I'm going to place that here in that upper that bottom of the upper third little quadrants there. I think it's perfect for a sentiment and then I did bend the wings up of the butterflies just a little bit and we're going to adhere that with some liquid glue. And I just have these all over and I think they're so stunning. So the recap of the techniques was tone on tone, spraying it through a stencil, spraying it on a different color of ink and on white cardstock, and then this fifth and final one, spritzing it on black cardstock. I'm gonna add a few gold sequins here from Spellbinders. And then let's take a look at this up close, you guys. 
on this black cardstock is my favorite. I love them all, but I just think it's stunning. It almost looks a little metallic, but look at how pretty, even on that background, that inked background. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope you feel inspired by these projects and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.